Hello guys, today's tutorial is about Blender 2.8 and the simple deform modifier. Here you can see the result first. I used the simple deform modifier to turn a plane into a sphere and I'm also animating this. I also did this for Blender 2.79 where you have to use two empties but now in Blender 2.8 you can use just one empty because you can define the deform axis now in the modifier. So let's start by adding a plane and I press R, Y, 90 to rotate it 90 degrees around the Y axis. Ok, after that I turn to edit mode, press S, Y and 2 to scale it up two times along the Y axis. After that I add an edge loop in the middle by pressing Ctrl and R. And after that we can evenly subdivide this a few times. Ok, I think that's enough, then I turn to object mode again. And then I search for smooth shading and apply it. Ok, now the plane is prepared for deformation, now the next thing we need is an empty that we can use in the simple deform modifier to turn this into a sphere. Before I add the simple deform modifier I set the rotation of the empty to 90 for the x and the y axis. And then I select the plane and go to the modifier tab to add a simple deform modifier for this. I set this to bend and the origin I set to the empty object. The axis are set to set so that we can deform the object around the set axis. So you can see what happens when I change the deform and I set the end value to 180 degrees. Alright, this was the first deformation and what I'm going to do now is I just copy this simple deform modifier and for the second, the copied one, I set the axis to X. And look at this what happens when I increase the angle, the object is turning more and more into a sphere. And the end value I use here is 360. Ok, now we created everything we need to turn this plane into a sphere, but wouldn't it be really amazing to animate this? That's also pretty simple. First reset the angles of the simple deform modifiers to zero. Then open up a timeline. And then hover with the mouse over this angle widget and press the I key to add keyframes. So we have the keyframes for the zero angle of the modifiers at the first frame. Then I go to frame let's say 100 and add their new keyframes by pressing the I key for the angles 180 for the first modifier and 360 for the second one. Ok, that's it and now you can play the animation. And this looks pretty nice, now I turn to look dev mode, which makes it look even more interesting. And I also add another modifier, a solidify modifier which also looks pretty nice. So that's it for this Blender 2.8 modifiers tip. If you're interested in videos like this, please let me know, add your opinions or wishes to the comments and I will take them into consideration for the next tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and if you want to support me then just be my patron, this would really help a lot. Thank you guys for watching this, thanks for your support and I see you on JNM.